Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across an error on your Windows 11 computer. This is if your PC needs to be repaired, error code 0x000098, and your PC needs to be repaired. The operating system cannot be loaded because a critical system driver is missing or contains errors. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to do a hard power off of your system three times in a row to access the advanced startup settings. If you're able to boot into Windows instead, which would be easier, and you're just periodically coming across this issue, you can open up the search menu and then select the power icon. And then hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then select restart. And then again, while holding down the shift key. Or like I said, you could do a hard power off three times in a row if you can't boot into Windows. Or you could download Windows 11 onto installation media like a USB flash drive or DVD and boot your computer from it and that would be specific for your computer in terms of what key you would press while your system is booting up in order to select that bootable device and then you would access settings that look identical to this basically so I'm going to choose an option we're going to select troubleshoot reset your PC or see advanced options and then select advanced options again and you would see options that are very similar to this again if you were booting directly from the DVD and they should be identical. They should work just the same except you're going to have a DVD instead of booting it off of the Windows operating system. So a lot of different options we can actually go through here. And if we even went back, the first option to reset this PC, if you selected that, you have the option to actually do a reset of your computer, doing a factory reset, which is remove everything or keep my files, but still even that first option, you know, you still want to make sure you have a backup of your system before you do it, because you do run the risk of, you know, losing your entire system anyway. You'd have to would reinstall Windows. So always take that option with a grain of salt, even though it says it'll keep your personal files. I usually don't trust it. But anyway, underneath troubleshoot, you can select advanced options and you can do start or prepare. Find and fix problems to keep Windows from loading. And then you can go ahead and actually run that here. And there are other options that you could see on that screen. I'm not sure if we're going to go back into that window, but on your computer, you can go back and then try and do the update rollback option. So this is start, prepare, couldn't repair your PC. I'm going to go back into advanced options here and troubleshoot. You can also select the system restore. Use the restore point on your system. And that's something else I recommend taking a look at as well. If you had any restore points, it's usually a good option to go with next. And then you can also select the uninstall updates option. And I recommend usually going underneath latest quality update, which are smaller updates. Feature updates are going to be bigger rollbacks, so just keep that in mind. I'm going to actually select just the uninstall latest quality update here. So you're welcome to do that. You can also, if you went back on Troubleshoot, you could just go back to the latest feature update as well, assuming you have it on your system. If you just installed Windows, you're probably not going to have something to roll back to, unfortunately. So this kind of depends on you having previous versions of Windows or previous builds installed on your computer. So pretty straightforward on that, just giving you guys a few different options to work with there. And if you wanted to go into safe mode, you can select startup settings and then select the restart button. And then you have the option to boot into safe mode or safe mode with networking. So you can tap the F, uh, in this case, F5 key if you want, which should be pretty universal, frankly. And you could boot into safe mode, and then if you had to make any repairs or uninstall any programs, you could do that. And then just boot back into the normal Windows operating system. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do apologize it will help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.